don't ever want to feel like something's not done after I do it. The life of limb is changing right before my eyes. When I ain't even get to see a chica die yet. But it's all good, the wind's only blowing up. My way, I even see a little ski. The track is, like I said, blaming on the DJ. This is from Silk and Web, Complex Vision. Uh, we will be pushing it crazy. Uh, like I said, that's it. Blame it on the DJ. You'll Blame it on the DJ. I love what people do, especially like what you're doing right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got your own crew, everything's holding it down. This is something for people to go through. They want their info, they want their source. Like, this, this is beautiful. <laughs> Figure out a message in the end is a way to have to come back. Absolutely. Something that wraps things up. It's not just like, oh, I know that, that, that's there. You just have to go there. Like, now nah, when there's a message, it, it kind of gives people direction. So respect to that. Shout out to y'all for that too. Like, I have good friends. I have good friends, and I met them through actually the internet, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Cause even on the next project, I talked to somebody else in Maine, and in the next project, I also had a few heads from um, Akron, Ohio, who sent me some beats. So like I like I get in touch with people, and I make it happen. And these are people who. And I know you need to invest in yourself as an artist. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. Like I really do, and I have. I've done that. But these are people I have a relationship with through the internet and through doing music with them. Like I've been on mixtapes with these people who ask me, "Yo, I need a verse," and they sent me beats in return. Like, "Yo, we respect it." Boom, boom, boom. So I got like a good relationship with people that send me beats. I really don't have to look too crazy. So my next project is definitely on the right path with that. I, I definitely get versatility involved in it. So yeah, shout out to Maine. Shout out to the people who fuck with me and my camp. Man. I actually want to go to Maine, and it's really dope that you got that beat from there because that's like one of my places I want to for my birthday this year, either Maine or Canada. Oh, how did you? Yeah. Canada. Maine. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yeah. Well, I know the place, but, <laughs> but um, what are some of the things that you do to get into your creative, creative vibe? Like, mm -hmm. what do you do? Do you okay. meditate? Do you, um, indulge? Mm -hmm. like, what do you do? So, I do meditate on you know, okay. That is that is off subject when it comes to writing. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to writing, when it's time to do that, all I need is a few different things. If I'm writing, I already know I'm writing. Like it wasn't a point where I was like, because like, this happens all the time, it wasn't a point where I was like, yo, I gotta write this one line down, because I do that when I do that. But when it comes to writing, I'm like, yo, I'm about to write today. <clears throat> I need my recorder. Mm. A voice recorder, make sure it's top, top notch. My voice recorder records me like a nigga in the studio would do. Because I, I understand a lot of different, you know what I'm saying, angles. As the producer, I understand, like, you record, you do what you gotta do. But as the producer, I also know recording and erasing some shit back and forth is just crazy, especially when you're working on something. I think as an artist, you should have your music and you should sit with it for a minute after it's done and you should listen to it and get to feel it before you, you know what I'm saying, revamp it. Everybody um, does a little. Spell check when it comes to sending, you know, saying letters, texts. I do my version of that when I do my music by listening to what it's already done. So in order for me to get in that process, I need my recorder. I need to be, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying I need a lot of shit going on in the background, believe it or not, because I need a lot of things keeping me from doing it. Because that's what makes me do it and get it done. Who are you listening to now? No one, no one other than anyone in my group. Right. Not no. No, listen, no listen. one is in the rotation. It's gonna sound crazy to you when okay. I get in the car. I get in the car with people that I fuck with. Okay. When I'm not in the car, I'm in the studio. When I'm not in the studio, I'm at work. When I'm not at work, I don't hear any other music than the bullshit playing. And honestly, I do listen to other music other than rap. I do. Okay. But, but that's because it's what happens. I work in a restaurant. I hear music playing all the time. Through through default, you hear shit playing, you want no song. So I know that shit. But other than that, when I'm in the car with my people's, me in the studio, when I'm working, I listen to my people's music. And I'm actually happy I'm at the point that when I listen to my people's music, I'm, I love their stuff. And I love my stuff in circulation to the point where I'd be like, damn, what's on the radio? Because I don't know. My people's shit is that good. I listen to my people's and... That's a good place to be. That's what I was going to say. That's probably a good space to it be is. in. In the sense of it is. surrounding yourself with your craft, it, it actually will come Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, uh, Absolutely. Like I said, it was a point when I couldn't listen to music. Like I couldn't turn on the radio and be like, I right, let me vibe out. I couldn't do it. I had to play some old shit. And either it was me by myself and I was cool with it, or there's people around and looking to play something else. Like I'm at the point where it's okay. It's more than okay. It actually drives me because they working, I'm working, we doing shit. You know what I'm saying? So what's next? A holiday. What's next?
Yeah, that's a really good space to be in. And, you know, I probably really did not understand until you just actually said that in front of me. Because I do hear a lot of artists say, no, I'm not listening to anyone else. I listen to my own music. And then immediately you automatically think, like, that's selfish as hell. Like, what do you mean you ain't listening to no one else? But sometimes you have to, you have to be you selfish. I agree. I think you have to be selfish, especially when you're trying to hone in on your own craft. Like, mm -hmm. I totally get it. Yeah. It, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Once you become so immersed in something that... It inspires you on in all different levels. Mm -hmm. you, you literally master the craft, and that's what anything. Mm -hmm. Like if you take example, for example, martial arts. Like if, if you live, breathe, and become it. Like you surround yourself with nothing but it. Eventually, you will become it. Absolutely. You know, you are you are your surroundings, and if you surround yourself with you know your music and your craft and your creativity and that motivation that will drive you. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You'll definitely get to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And that's I, I, I'm a firm believer in that. One hundred percent. You know. That's what I understand. The hardest part about that is everything on the outside. Right. Everything on the outside and what you're feeling on the inside. And, and what you have to cipher in and what you have to filter out and what you have to Absolutely. allow in. Like, you know? Absolutely. Like I heard I heard Trent say it one time and he was like, yo, y'all need to start putting ideas down and writing them out and making stories because y'all be bugging. This is a minute ago I heard him say this shit. And I always wrote like that. Like if it's not something I wrote, then it was a freestyle or like, yo, I felt this, I did it, which always made sense from beginning to end. It was like something that I wrote down and I wrote a story and then I wrote it down in song. So I was like, damn, people don't do that? Like I thought niggas was bugging until I met other people who just write songs and I come from a different place, not an era, a different place. So I feel strongly about that. Two heads work better than one. It's real shit. You might have conflict, but when you make it past conflict, what's after that? It's good. It's good, it's on to the next step because there should be no conflict after that unless there's enough, something else in your way. When you get past that, if you can keep doing that together, you're only increasing. You know what I'm saying? So you find somebody, you find that person who fights for you and what you believe in, and you, you stay behind that. You make sure they true and they'll do the same for you. You gotta be able to back your shit up. Stand behind it. The longer you stand behind it, you're gonna believe. So the moral is, woman? Be with someone who can back this shit up. <laughs> and back you up. Word. And back you up. We want to thank you so much for being with us today. And we're definitely going to get into the message. That was good. That was really good stuff. I appreciate you, man. I fuck with you and your team. 100%. Uh, yeah. Uh, you and me. Got a difference in skin tone, but still shit last.